Okay, so this is the second lesson. We're going to look at long division first. So, long division. We'll start with a nice simple question. We'll do six divided by five. And what this is actually asking is how many fives go into six? So what we do is we start, we put our five outside and we see how many fit inside six. So how many fives do fit inside six? Well, one does, but we've got one left over. So what we do is we now know we put our decimal point in, and down here we draw a zero. Now we know we have five goes into six once with a one left over. So we draw one in here. We've now got 10, one, zero, 10. Now how many fives go into 10? Two fives go into 10. So we write a two up here. Is there a remainder? No, there isn't. So that's the answer. The answer to that is 1.2. It's that straightforward. Now let's look at a slightly more complicated example. Let's look at 84 divided by 32. Okay, a little bit more complicated. So, again, it's how many 32s go into 84. So, we put our 32 outside, and then we've got 84 inside. Okay, first thing we do, how many 32s go into eight? None, none do. So we've got a zero here. Okay, now we carry the eight over. So we've got how many 32s go into 84? Well, how many 32s do go into 84? Let's uh, write out down here, 32s in rows to 32. Two 32s, 64. And another 32 on, you can get 96. So you can see, two 32s go into 84. So we put a two here. Now we've got to bring our decimal point into play again. And we put a zero here. Now how many have we got left over? We got to 64, didn't we? And we wanted to get to 84. So how many have we got left over? We've got 20 left over. So we've got to write 20 in here. So now we've got 200. So now we'll do how many 32s get to 200. So we're going to need to continue this on until we get to 200. So 96 plus 32 is going to take us 200. And 28, and another 32, it's going to take us to 160. Okay. And another 32 is going to bring us up to 192. Now we can see straight away we're not going to be able to add any more 32s on there without going to 200. So this time we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 32s fit in to 200. So we put our 6 here. We need to add on another zero. Okay, now how many do we have left over? We had eight left over. So now we've got how many 32s fit into 80? We know that one. 64. Two 32s. Okay, and how many have we got left over? This time we've got 16 left over. Now we've got 160. How many 32s fit into that 160? We can see we've got it here. It's one, two, three, four, five. So five 32s fit into 160. With nothing left over. So that therefore is our answer. So our answer, 84 divided by 32, equals 2.625. It's that straightforward. Okay. We'll do one more example where we're actually given a number that will give us a decimal that will go on forever. Now, we don't want to do a decimal that goes on forever. It doesn't really make any sense. So what we'll do is we'll do it to two decimal places. So we're going to do 45 divided by 28. And we're told to give the answer 
to two decimal places. Okay, so again, number 28 to go into 45. So we've got 28, we've got into 45. Okay, so how many 28 to four? None. With a four left over. Okay, so we've got 45. Okay. So 28 into 45. So let's see if we can fit more than one into so 28. 228 is going to be 56. So no, only one fits in. So we've got one. And how many have we got left over? Well, 28. So we need to do 45 takeaway. 28. We find that that gives us 17. Okay, so that means we've got a zero here. Don't forget your decimal place up here as well. And we've got 17. So we're gonna to need to do 28. Again, draw this out until we get all the way up to 170. Okay, so we've got 56. Add 28 on. It's going to bring us up to 84. Okay, add 28 on. It's going to bring us up to 112. Okay, add another 28 on. It's going to bring us up to 140. And another 28 is going to bring us up to 168. Okay, we know if we add another 28 on, we're going to go over 170, so we'll stop there. So how many 28s is that? One, two, three, four, five, six 28s. So we put a six in. Okay, how many left over? Two. So we have to put our zero in again, and we put a two in. 28s into 20, none are gonna go. So there we go, we got to our two decimal places. But, is the next number gonna be bigger or greater, bigger or smaller, sorry, than five? because that will tell us whether we need to round this up or not. So we'll just do this one just to see. So we've got 20 actually left over from the previous one because none fit in. So how many go into 200? Is it going to be more or less than five? Can we see that straight away? Well, we can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six brought us to 168. So yes, more than five are going to fit in. So let's see how many it would have been. 168, add on our 28 again, is going to bring us up to 100. And 96 so we can actually fit seven in. so we need to get this to two decimal places it's going to give us uh, to two decimal places can be 1.61 because the seven forces the zero to round up to a one so we find that or to two decimal places is 1.61 so that's long division hopefully that was a recap for most of you uh, so You've got the questions in the book. Have a good go at those. And uh, I'll see you for the next lesson.